If people can't see what God is doing, they stumble all over themselves. And this includes our students. Without meaning and purpose, many just get by. And some, not even that. When it comes to school, there's no shortage of what to learn. The shortage is why. For many students, it's meaning that's missing, deep meaning, the kind of meaning that motivates beyond grades, future paychecks, and accolades. I know what you're thinking. That would require a revolution. But the good news is, this revolution is not far off. Where do all revolutions begin? They start with ideas, and not just any ideas, but passionate dreams that move people to action. In 1517, Martin Luther nailed his dream to a church door and started a revolution that changed history. Justification by faith and the priesthood of all believers. They struck chords that still resound around the globe. But Luther's revolutionary theology of work has faded. Luther denounced the sacred-secular divide that elevated the work of clergy to God's work and relegated the work of milkmaids to something less. He declared that milking cows is God's work too. Calvin carried Luther's teaching on work even further. By God's grace, Calvin turned Geneva, then called the smelliest city of Europe, into a model city by helping the citizens to see that work in all spheres of society, whether civil or economic or domestic, is God's work. Puritans carried the Protestant work ethic to the New World, where it fueled the development of a nation with the idea that a man's shop and his chapel are both holy ground. But over time, the sacred-secular divide returned. Today, it's the pastors and the missionaries who do God's work, not foremen or flight attendants. We've quit believing that God does his work through carpenters, and cops, and CEOs. Here's the big question. Do our students see their shop as holy ground? Their shop is the classroom and the home where they wash dishes and feed the dog. Yet how many see this work as the work of God? And how many of our students aspire to do God's work tomorrow as urban developers and homemakers? Do our students know that they were created with a purpose in mind when God said, let them rule over all the earth? Do our students see their work as something God wants done? Ruling over electricity, sound waves, and language, computers, wind, ruling over money and muscles, as well as ideas. Imagine what would happen to any nation where citizens engaged in their work, whether artisan or doctor or geek, as the very work of God. What if the office were a place to apply one's faith? It would turn the world upside down, again. You can infuse kingdom-centered work into your school's existing curriculum to restore the lost art of kingdom-centered work so that students will be equipped to engage in something grand, beyond themselves and yet in the here and now. By engaging in work of all kinds, both present and future, as the very work of God.